So I just finished from coming, just finished my waxing, my waxing appointment um, with the lady who um, works at one of those franchise businesses or whatever. It went great. She's black. Did a great job. Fabulous. Now, I got a text the morning of, really early in the morning, saying you haven't confirmed your appointment for today. We need to do that swiftly. And it gave a rundown. It said that if you, um, which it should have come sooner, but I did make it for the following day. But the text message said, if you, well, let me just show it. Okay. Hopefully it comes up. Okay. So basically, if you are a no-show, you get charged 100% of the service. And if you char if you cancel within 24 hours of the the appointment you get charged 50% of the service now I don't have a problem with this policy because I didn't have to pay up front um, I also don't have a problem with this because if this is the way that the beauty uh, you know arena or whatever is handling things now with no shows and people being super late then I guess that's something I have to get used to and like I said, I still got to go to a black woman, so you know, for the services, so I feel fine going to like a franchise. Um, I have a friend who's not cool with any of that, but um, you know, I don't know what else there is to do. I don't know if this is the way that businesses are going now because I know doctors do that, and maybe that's just the way they're doing it. Uh, maybe there's a lot of people who are interrupting the flow of business with their no shows or their lateness. Uh, lateness is never an issue for me because I always get there super early like I was there 15 minutes early so that's never an issue for me but she did a great job and I made an appointment to get some done, waxing done for next month so yeah um, yeah like I said before the 70% is pretty outrageous to be paying for a deposit and I didn't have to do that and I still got great service with a black woman